this is what you call a HM TDS3 um, TDS or PPM meter and this is a, a case for it that could hook on your belt a shoulder strap and there's a booklet in it that you can get all the calibration um, information and what we do we make sure that all meters work before we sell it so we put on this is an oval and oval button we put it on here and you can see the HM and the zero comes up so what do you take off the, the, um, the cap from it and we take two sets of water here so when the first set if you have it on put the first set of water and let's read five the pay, we pull, put on the hold button hold it and it read five and that five because it's rain water, it's 5 ppm. We then shake it off, it's just pure water. We rinse it, shake it off, and we put it on again, and we put it in the 5 water. We shake it in 5 water, and we press the hold button, and the reading we get here now is 74. So, rain water is much more pure to drink than pipe water because pipe water has chlorine and all that stuff in it. This meter is working beautifully because our rain water is actually 4 to 5 and the pipe water is 70 to 70. So we don't have to calibrate this again. Right? We come back to calibrate. We just close it, we put it in the um, thing here, we make sure it's off and we put it back in the case and we give the customer the Right? Uh, you don't bank me on the feet. <laughs> now, this meter by the way was going for $395, it's now been sold for $295 at Plan Doctors, and this sale is for extended up to the holiday, <laughs> right? Well, I want person to convert other people, I'll tell you to think of God of This PH ADS meter is from HM again. Um, what plan doctors do, they go directly to the company and buy their stuff in California. And there's a cap for it, which is a rubber cap, with a piece of cotton inside there to keep your meter moist. Now, we're going to check the pH in this, but we have to soak this meter first. So we put on this meter, it's when you put it on, it says pH, and we soak it in the water, so we leave it to soak there. When this, this meter gets moist, it is reading 8, 8 right now, so let's see to um, a magnifying glass, 8.0, and it will come down and then stop. When it stops here, we then calibrate it using the pH 7 solution. One thing, when you are buying a pH meter, I am warning, or a PPM meter, whatever place you buy, don't have to be at plant doctors, make sure that the seller or the technician or the people at the place um, checks, opens, checks the meter make sure they are working properly, the battery is good and that is calibrated properly you don't want when you go home with the meter and they say what the hell should I do you know what to do? don't buy it there go to the place, any place that the seller to guarantee that the meter is working good so here at Plan Doctors we make sure this is the pH ATS, you can see it closely there, pH ATS meter um, from HM and from $750 you get for $490 right now. This is a giveaway, right? Um, these meters will ask you one of the other things, we'll give you what they call, you'll have to buy a pH um, storage solution because you, as long as the meter is moist, Right, so it goes in and you're in six point um, seven now. So we now take it off from there and we're going to calibrate it. So we take it off and we're going to calibrate it now. So the calibration process is simple. This is the calibration solution that comes with it. I give the customer. I don't want this from him. I use mine here now, page seven, watch it closely, closely. We show the page seven in this. Right. I don't think I'm on it. <laughs> we put on the meter again. Right? Um, 
this is a pressure compensating um, not pressure uh, temperature compensating meter it will in 50.1 based on the solution it will actually come down to the exact temperature as it wants to work you put it in here now and you press cal calibration and you press here now and it will calls now when it will call yeah it's calibrated now I get it all of it. It's calibrated and it, it, this solution is calibrated 6.9 at a 30.3 degrees and 6.9 is just like 7. Apparently, what, what's happened? We should have to shake it up a little bit. Alright, uh, 6.9 is the calibration here now. It's just like seven. So we take it out now. Um, we don't use this again. We throw it this. We take it off. And we wash all the meter again. When we more wash all the meter now, we put it in a storage solution. I don't know what it's So this storage solution now is a um, pH storage solution from HM itself. We open the cap here. And there's a smaller cup I can we take out that. And this here is the cotton inside the cup. The plastic cup now. It will fall on and break. You just throw some in here. Just to keep it moist enough. You cover it back. So like every one week or two weeks, you um you just make sure you after you use the meter and wash it out. You just put it inside the arm. Um, put a little bit of that again, a few drops. Put it in here, then right in, and invert the meter up and down, up and down like this. And your you, you probe is wet here. As long as the pole, probe is moist and does not get dry, you have no problem. Right? This is how you, uh, you uh, calibrate your meter so you, do, you know. If you like this video, click subscribe or like. Um, Tell others that you, you could get it by plant of course.